Yes. No. Cash. Cash. By the way, I'm going to ah. I'm going to sum this up um, in the alliterative form of haiku if I can pull this off. Yeah, please. Definitely trash. No. No, it's going to be Zolo cash. cannot carry this. Sorry, it will fail. No, All right. it's going to be Hi, cash. Cash. <laughs> cash. Cash. I'm going to be a tweener with this because I had talks with somebody regards to the Blue Beetle. Mm -hmm. Robert, I was thinking the same way you were until I finished having this conversation with this person. Tyler, really unless Brock is over. going to F5 the Meg in the movie. <laughs> no. No, Tyler. <laughs> we don't, we All don't right, do first. Christ to that family. All right, so I'm going to say this. My heart wants this movie to succeed. It's going to. I want it to succeed. But this has something to do with one thing. Promotion and promoting it to the right audience. And the reason I say that, because you have to bring up Black Panther. You have to promote this to the Latin community. Mm -hmm. If you don't promote it right to the Latin community, yes, it will be trash. Mm -hmm. But... If you promote this to the Latin community and it succeeds, this will be cash. So I'm using the Black Panther theory on this film. What's the budget? 120. I really, I personally think it's going to be cash. And well, I say that because of me meeting the actual main actor and I really enjoy the way he's been humble and I saw the trailer of this. I'm, I'm, I'm just that doesn't mean crap though. And this is the first movie to James Gunn's universe. No, no, it still, still doesn't, doesn't, yeah, but it still doesn't. I, I don't really know. know. Uh, they said this. Well, this will be the first. They say one to start they off. said Blue Beetle was the first character, but to Superman start Legacy universe. will be the first movie I mean. in James Gunn's know. DCU. I don't know. I really think this is going to get about three hundred million, maybe more. 300 would, count, would be cash in this case. Yeah. Okay. First of all, uh, Davion. Yeah. That conversation that you had that brought you to this uh, idea of yours with the whole Black Panther thing, that was mine. <laughs> I said that to you on Saturday as we were leaving the Ninja Turtles movie, as we were going down the escalator of the Empire 25. Wow. I am the one that said that to you. So you were taking my idea, you rat bastard. Oh my god. <laughs> but I was thinking He didn't that even credit it. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I know. No, he well, just said I had a conversation with somebody. Not yeah, that I, I had a conversation with, with Ryan and they, you know. just to two days ago. No, no, right. No, this Ryan, mysterious Ryan, person. Ryan, Ryan, there a different name somebody, maybe? I'm that made Jamion really reconsider his approach and use terms <laughs> that I used. <laughs> You just plagiarized them. Yeah, right. No, no, no. But right. You sneak thief, son of a... <laughs> hey, Ryan. Ryan? 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 Just keep talking. He's not going to listen. And honestly, Bob just checked out. So he's not he is. Ryan? I'll listen. I'll listen to you. Go ahead. I know. Ryan? Yes, Day? You know that was payback, right? Hmm? Jeopardy. Sorry, I, I can't even see what that says. <laughs> no, no. You know that's payback from Jeopardy, right? Payback from the Jeopardy uh, episode we did a few weeks ago? Yeah. Mm. Not the same. No. No, I will pay back, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I just, but no, but all seriousness, Ryan was the one that stated that at the movie theater. I will address that. Yes. And yeah, you brought it to light because I was rooting for that film because I want to see this film succeed. Mm. And I had faith with this character. I had faith with it. But then when you gave me those ideas about if the Latin community and then you know what? 
that basically lit a fire. Like, if this does well and the Latin community goes in, this is going to be a huge success. However, I will have to say, what was the budget on this again? 120 million. It's doable. It's doable. It's possible. Um, I will tentatively say cash. But so are you, besides me, are you three not going to watch this in theaters is what I'm hearing? Let him finish his thought first. No, 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 I mean, I'll see, I'll see it in theaters. But the, the thing people need to understand about this movie is this was a movie that was originally not even slated for theaters. This was going to be a straight to HBO Max, back when it was HBO Max, a DC movie, just like Batgirl was. Seriously? Yes. They, no they saw what Blue Beetle was going to be, and they were like, you know what? We're going to put this out in theaters. It's not going to be a Max original direct film. That, that with that in be- mind, I almost feel like the way DC has gone with the films that they've released in theaters, mm-hmm. this might have been a safer choice to put it strictly on Max. Mm-hmm. Because now... With this whole James Gunn, old DC, new DC sort of thing, with this whole, you know, Shazam not working, Flash not working, he's technically the first character, but he's not the first movie. It's like, you would have been better off just having it as like a standalone movie on the network itself before you made any kind of big dramatic showing on theaters. We're already seeing that Aquaman is going to go ahead and have multiple reshoots Again, yeah, we'll get to and that. This one is going to a mo- th- now, once we get to cash or trash on that thing, that's going to be trash because that thing is already inflated, well, and it's probably inflating it in order to make it coexist with this movie and, to and legacy. Heard. And that's probably not going to work out well for it. This thing at least started from the ground up, right? And so it was like, let's just see what we can do with this character on its own and see how he can, you know, maybe dive into the young adult uh, Gen Z sort of thing, the same way t- the Turtles are doing. Ryan. Yes. I'm sorry to um, interrupt. So that Dream. film, that film mm. was supposed to be Especially the Walmart, an HBO they? Max exclusive. Yes. Mm. Back when they were you know, shelling out money and doing projects to build off of the uh, Justice League Snyder Cut, they were deciding, okay, how do we bring people onto Max? And before they started saying, hey, we'll do day and date release on Max release in theaters, they were thinking, okay, we should do some DC exclusive stuff, mm-hmm. much the same way that Disney has done Marvel exclusive stuff for the streaming service. Batgirl and Blue Beetle were two films that were pitched at the time. And yeah, they both got shot up to the point where it was going to be possibly Batgirl was going to be sent to theaters as well as opposed to being just released on the streaming service. Blue Beetle, they said, okay, I like what the, we're seeing here. I like the first the looks. Let's push it out into theaters. Because they already knew that they had lost money by having things released day and date on the streaming service. So now they were trying to find other things that they could push into theaters to make up more money. That's why Blue Beetle got pushed. Mm -hmm. Now, is it a smart idea? (laughs) Yes. Is it the right time? Eh, Probably not. Not the way things have gone this year for them. Because to be honest with you, when I saw the trailer of this, this looked looked really good. And you know what I really got from Mm -hmm. it? Guyver vibes. You know what else, though? There's one other thing. August is typically a take your kids on vacation month. You know, the last chance for a vacation before you got to go, the kids got to go back to school. Right. That could theoretically hurt this as well. Correct. Or, just, um, or you'll take, when you're on vacation, you'll go see this movie too. Maybe. Yeah, it depends on where you're going. Depends but where you're going. I don't, like I said, I just exactly don't think. Exactly. Mm. Like, yeah. Flat, I mean, look at, look at me. Flash also is probably going to hurt this a little bit, although it's a little further back in the rearview mirror. Right. Because at this point, in a lot of ways, and I've said this before, people, I think, are just simply burned out on comic book projects. It ran its course like horror movies did or sci-fi movies or westerns back in the day. You know, things have a flow, and eventually they get burned out, and you move on to the next thing. 
there is so much trying to keep the comic book movie industry alive, even though that ca- that no <laughs> that cash cow is completely dried up at this point, and those udders have very little milk left in them. You know, I will have to. Good. I will have to disagree with the Flash comment because there's a lot of reasons why that movie failed, and one being because of the actor that's yeah. in it. I know a lot of people strictly didn't see it because of who was in it. And I that heard it. Represent, woo. <laughs> what? Jersey represent, woo. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. But One yeah, town no, over from where I grew up. Um, so it's like with that's why I gotta disagree with the Flash comic compared to this movie. This one, like I said, I'm really I'm really excited. This is gonna be a hopeful the one I've been waiting for months for. Hmm. And you know, seeing his performance of the character, knowing what he can perform, because I've seen him in Cobra Kai and stuff, I really think it's going to be a really good movie. Yeah, but he's not. Zola Mara Duane is not lead material here. Well, we're going to see. I wouldn't say that because there's a lot of people that don't look it, but when we see them on a big screen, it's a whole different mm. ball game. I don't know. Yeah. Like I said, I, I just, I still see trash here. Well, I mean, we will we'll know well, next said, month. I, tentatively, tentatively. I, right. I, like, I think it can make its money back, but it's going to struggle. It's I'm going to be close. It's going to struggle. It's going to be real close. It's or really going to have to depend on how many people show up opening weekend. Right. Or how many tickets they, uh, you know, Warner Brothers themselves just buy. Right. To fudge the numbers. Or maybe they'll have a deal with Applebee's where you can, you know, pay $35 and get a wait, free Wait, wait, wait. We're not going to discuss that. We're not going to wow. discuss that. Because <laughs> that. that worked so well with Dial of Destiny. 